Well, unfortunately, these days, heart disease, respiratory illness, diabetes are at epidemic levels. And so we wanted to talk about some ways that we can keep folks out of the ER, out of the hospitals, even avoiding admissions altogether. And to do that, we are welcoming Dr. Pathagia to the show today to give us even more information on things that we need to know. Good morning, Dr. Pathagia. How are you today? Good morning. I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. You know what? Let's dive right in. I mean, what research are you seeing first and foremost that kind of raised the red flag along these lines? Yeah, absolutely. So our research at WellMed has shown that care coordination and extended care management for people with chronic conditions, such as heart disease, diabetes, and respiratory illness, has actually reduced the number of emergency room visits and hospital admissions for patients with those conditions. But the key is here really for doctors and medical staff to work together in a coordinated team approach so we can make sure that patients don't relapse once they get out of the hospital. And so what can we do to maybe avoid these ER visits, avoid these hospital admissions? And especially if we take a look here at Tampa Bay, you know, we do have a lot of senior citizens that are enjoying the Sunshine State. And I know this is particularly important for them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I think the first thing is to make sure that you're actually getting in to see your doctor on a regular basis. Um, the second thing is, is make sure that you understand what your doctor is doing to actually coordinate your care, you know, how they communicate with their specialists, how they communicate with the other physicians in the practice that might care for you every once in a while. You know, before your visit with the physician, make sure that you write down any questions that you might have so you don't forget. And then, you know, one of the most important things is make sure that your doctor actually gives you the time to ask the questions that you may have. Uh, a lot of people might not be aware that there are chronic special needs Medicare Advantage plans that are specifically designed for people you know, with diabetes, heart disease, or respiratory disease. And these patients can switch to those plans at any time throughout the year. Well, that's exactly what I was going to just bring up, because it's one thing to talk about health plans and say you get a diagnosis, you know, for a chronic condition or something that may cause more financial strain, and then you are locked in. So talk about how you are able to, to change the plans, if you will, and what people need to keep in mind if they do see something in the future that happens that they may need to make a change. Yeah, absolutely. You know, taking care of these chronic conditions can be very expensive for folks. And so if you qualify for both Medicare and Medicaid, you have the option to switch to a dual special needs advantage plan at any time of the year. Nice. That's great information there. And of course, we're sharing the website on the bottom of our screen, wellmed365.com. Is there anywhere else that people should go or is that the best place to kind of dive in just to make sure people are either prepared or could go there if they need to make a change? Yeah, I think that's a great place to start. WellMed365.com. Dr. Pathagia, I'm so glad you were able to join us today. And again, we've got such a senior population here in Tampa Bay that this is very important information that I'm glad we were able to share. Thank you so much for having me. Take care, okay? Hope to see you again. You too, for sure.